Hi folks, and welcome to TK Power Sports and RVs. So right beside me, you're probably saying, well, that's a pontoon boat. And you're right, but this is not like any pontoon boat you've ever seen before. This is the Sea Dew Switch. It was brand new last year, and we're gonna hit the water down here in Florida and tell you all about it. start with the walk around but first talk a little bit about the switch lineup so the boat you're looking at in this video is a mid-range switch this is an 18 footer with a 230 horsepower powertrain now you can also get a 21 footer or a 13 footer so the length change there's three different power options and three different color options so you can really make this thing work for you and that is truly the objective of the switch to make it work for your lifestyle and you can tell that by these modular panels you see down here in the floor. This entire boat has designed to basically be a big Lego kit. You can move any of these seats from where they are to wherever you want them. And not just for the day, but again, it only takes two seconds to do it. So if you're out on the water and someone wants to sit back there instead of up here, boom, you shove the seat back there. I think that makes a ton of sense. And it's not the same thinking we've had from the boat industry for the longest time, which was this is how we build it and that's how you get it. And this is also kind of automotive in a way, because we see this trend everywhere in pickup trucks. Everyone wants to be individual, customized. They don't want their truck or their boat to be like everyone else's, and this switch won't be. Now, as we move back here, definitely one of the most unique things about this model is right here. No steering wheel. Yeah, you actually have a set of handlebars, just like on a regular sea model. And this is a jet drive boat. Again, no prop back there. So there's gonna be a couple things you have to get used to if you're already used to driving a quote unquote regular pontoon boat. And again, I can only tell you so much sitting here. I wanna get out there on the water and actually drive this thing and feel all the differences. Now folks, here we are out on the water on this switch. So the first thing I wanna tell you is if you are familiar with a sea -Doo, you already know exactly how this thing works. This is sea -Doo's IBR system, they call it. So it's really simple. If you pop that left handle, I am now in neutral, it shows me right on the screen. Hold the left handle, I am now in reverse. Pop the right handle, I'm now in forward. Hold the right handle, and off we go. So, really intuitive, really simple, and again, if you are someone who has ridden a sea since 2009, you're gonna exactly know what to do here. Um, I've been driving this now for a little bit, and yeah, I don't find myself missing a steering wheel whatsoever. You don't have to do hand over hand steering here, nothing like that. The full turning radius is right there. It's, it's really not that far. So you're not dialing in a ton of steering to get this thing moving, which is the first thing I kind of noticed. Now, the next thing you notice, it's very apparent if you've ever been on a pontoon, is this thing doesn't flat corner. So on a regular pontoon boat, generally you huck it into a corner and the thing just stays dead flat. It almost feels like it wants to high side. The center of gravity comes up. It just doesn't feel natural. This thing, because it's a tri-tune actually, it's not a pontoon, it's a tri-tune. The outside pontoons are angled in a little bit and that actually allows it to lean in the corners. So of all the pontoon boats I've ever seen, this is probably the best handling pontoon and you can just see some of the things it can do here this is tim from sea -Doo driving this thing so he really knows the capabilities and he was hucking it into those corners and this thing was really just sinking into them so if you're looking for that sporty handling you're gonna get it here i think more than anywhere else in the pontoon boat industry 
Okay, folks, here we are on the Switch Sport. This is the 18-footer with the 230 horsepower powertrain, and I want to do a top speed run. Let's see how quick this bad boy is. Are you ready? And here we go in three, two, one. Yes, the switch does have a brake. That's another unique thing on a pontoon boat. You're not gonna find one of these anywhere else that has brakes on it. Well, you saw it there, 45 miles per hour. That's as quick as I could get this thing to go, but it feels really quick and off the line is really where you feel that power, especially in sport mode. Let's just talk a little bit about the cockpit right here because on this boat, Everything is modular. You can move around the seats and the different accessories, but you can't move this console. This is the one thing here that is fixed. So when you sit here, first of all, I mean, I got loads of space. They've designed this for bigger people, which is nice. You get a pair of cup holders right up in front of me. I have a kind of small digital display, but still nice to have. Over here, I have my controls for my Bluetooth and my stereo. Everything's easy at hand. You can hook up your Garmin right here. And then another thing I really like is this big mirror just sort of up above my head. You get a really clear view of what's behind you. And especially when you're in a machine like this that can turn pretty tight and move pretty quick, you want to know what's all the way around you. Now, outside of that, I do have a little glove box here for at-hand storage. I do have a little horn right there. I get my lights and my other controls. There's one other neat thing I want to show you too, and it has to do with this seat. It has this gray kind of bolster. It flips up and it gives me this tall seating position, uh, which is really nice, especially if you're doing something like toe sports. If you got someone behind you on a wakeboard, a lot of the times you'll be standing up to look. You want good visibility all the way around you and this tall seating position gives you that, which again is really cool and it just feels like the people who designed this really thought again of those little details that matter when you're doing something like towing someone behind you. Like I mentioned, it's a tri-tune here on the Switch, one, two, three. And the nice thing about this big center pontoon, which is actually based off of a Sea-Doo body, so it's pretty big, is you get storage. The engine is back behind, and we do have a hatch to get in there, but you can fit your life jackets, all of your safety equipment, and whatever else you want down there in the floor. When you're done there, hook these guys back up, and boom, it's nice and flush. So again, a really smart feature right there. And then back here, if you need access to your engine for maintenance, you can open that up as well. So I mentioned that there are three different lengths available here with the Switch. This is the mid model, the 18 footer. And over here on my US Coast Guard maximum capacity sticker, I'm allowed to have seven people or 987 pounds right here on this boat. And yeah, you know what? There is plenty of space here for seven people, especially if a couple of them are kids. Now, the other thing I want to point out is that the hull down below is made from a composite material. This isn't something like fiberglass. And one of the big advantages there, it's scratch resistant. So when you're pulling up to a beach or pulling up on some kind of shells, you're not going to show all those scratches. So I think that was also a pretty smart move by SeaDo going that way. It also helps them with production. Not only is this modular in the way you can move stuff, the production is modular. What do I mean? Well, I mentioned 13 18 and 21 foot lengths all they do is they have sections three sections and if you want a longer boat they add a section if you want less boat they take a section away so all of these boats are basically going to be the exact same right here at the console and then up in front well if there's more sections it'll be longer or less it'll be shorter the reason I'm telling you this is because another thing I've really been hearing while listening to Sea-Doo talk is that they tried to streamline the manufacturing process this switch launched in 2000 2022 last year but quite honestly it was really hard to get one because Sea-Doo wasn't working at max capacity just like everyone else on the planet they had supply chain issues but for 2023 switches are fully available so yes if you want to switch visit your Sea-Doo dealer and there should be one there in 2023 
Okay, folks, I talked about high speed handling, but of course, slow speed handling is gonna be important here on the Switch too. So I'm gonna bring it in and put it back onto its trailer right now. And you can see I've got it turned at full lock and it'll basically turn right in its own circle. So first of all, that's really nice just for getting set up and making sure you're ready. Now, again, I went over the controls here. So I got my throttle on the right, brake and reverse on the left. Pretty self-explanatory and uh, Let's see how smoothly I can bring it in here. The nice thing I think is it responds quickly, although you have to remember it's a jet. Unlike having a big prop back there or any kind of rudder, there isn't one. So the only way you're turning this thing is by actually giving it inputs, by giving it throttle. That's a little bit different than uh, other boats, but honestly, it does respond pretty quickly. So let's see how I can do here. How's that look? Uh, yeah. It's okay. A little more. Yeah. And as simple as that. So you saw it there. That was pretty nice, easy, quick handling. Um, again, I think the biggest difference you get used to is it's not gonna turn unless you give it a bit of throttle, a little bit of input. But besides that, man, that was uh, simple enough. Coming to the end of this one, folks. So with the switch, it seems really obvious that Sea-Doo is not thinking like a traditional boat company. And I think there's two areas where this thing truly sets itself apart. First of all, handling. I've never driven a pontoon that handles this well. You probably haven't either. You're definitely gonna wanna try this out in a tight corner. Second, the modular floor. There's no other boat design I've ever seen where you can move all of your stuff around. Basically, you buy it and that's the way you get it. Well, not with the switch. You set this up exactly how you want and I think that's a smart idea that's likely to draw in a lot of customers. So that's it for this one, folks. Make sure you go below, hit like, hit subscribe, hit join to become a member of our channel and then come right back here to TK Power Sports and RVs to see what we're testing next. See ya.